Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. I told y'all I was going to kind of change up the monotony of my channel a little bit here. It's still a, uh, right after the New Year's, y'all. And I'm going to do something I never did before. And BCK, Box K, Kenneth, wake up in the back back there. You and Gina, you and Gina back there acting up back there. I'm going to take a box cake. And I'm going to make, now you see this cake on here. I done did a lot of research that y'all know I don't do box cakes. I'm not going to make that cake on that box. I want to make a pineapple upside down cake with this. I'm going to kind of modify it a little. I got a little recipe on the side. So I'm going to take that and uh, kind of cook it in a cast iron skillet here. Got a cast iron skillet. I'm gonna, now we're going to hope. I never did this before and they don't say it on the thing. I did a cake in a cast iron skillet before and it come out. So I don't know if this gonna work or not. It's gonna all be experimental what I'm doing here. So I don't know. So hold on y'all, just a second. First thing I am gonna do, I'm gonna spray this here really good. This skillet. Now, like I say y'all, I don't know if this gonna work. We are gonna pray that it works, okay. What I got here, like I said, I got the cake mix. I got the cake mix required. Ask for, I'm gonna do it just like I said on the box. Three eggs, a cup of water, and a half a cup of oil for the cake mix. And then the brown sugar butter go in the skillet here. Now I'm gonna add the pineapple and the cherry, just like a normal uh, uh, cake mix. So let me, uh, 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 German chocolate cake. Uh, Pineapple upside down cake. So what I'm gonna do, let me get started here, y'all. And say, put the butter in here first. We're gonna pour that butter in there. I pretty much know how to make a, I almost say German chocolate cake again. I pretty much know how to make a pineapple upside down cake. You put this in the bottom of the pan. Well, what I don't wanna do, y'all, I don't wanna break that up a little. I don't want to uh, mess up my spray that. Y'all know how to spray at the bottom of the pan. I know you, you just spray it the brown sugar around like this. I know that part. I move that butter around there. So when I have a nice, pretty popping when it come out. But like I say, what I'm not trying to do, y'all, is trying to disturb the spray because I sprayed that really really good okay now we're gonna go in with our pineapples I know this part too Put the pineapples in there so we're gonna hope this works y'all hope we're not eating it right out the skillet but if it do I'm gonna show y'all I ain't gonna hide nothing from y'all y'all know me if it ain't gonna work I'm gonna let you know it didn't work That one right on there. See, we might go on the sides with this bad boy too. Yeah, we'll go on the sides with it as well, y'all. We're trying to use all this pineapple out of here. Like I say, this is one can, which is 20 ounces of pineapples. 20 ounce can of pineapple, so we're gonna see what happens. Just breaking it apart, y'all, where it kind of fit in there. Put that bad boy right there. And that's the whole can of pineapple. Now we're gonna go in, of course. Y'all know gotta have the cherries. So throw the cherries in there. Like I say, y'all never did this, <laughs> never did this before. So y'all gonna be laughing at me or applauding me. Or crying with me. However it come out, we're gonna see y'all. We're gonna see. Throw them cherries in there just like that. There we go. Put one right there. Put one right there. Okay, now, we got that done. Now, <laughs> now we're gonna make the, make the cake mix, which is simple. Let me move y'all back over here. Got that done. Move y'all back over here. If this works, I, mean, I might not be making no more homemade cake mixes, huh? Not. I 
Y'all know I love my homemade cake mixes. Okay. And y'all, this is the pineapple perfectly moist duck and hind. I don't know how this tastes. Never used this before, but we're going to see here, y'all. Like I said, make it easy on you. It's the new year. Y'all been baking all last couple of months for Christmas and New Year. We're gonna make, we're gonna do some easy stuff here, y'all. We're gonna make it easy on ourselves. Okay, let me get my mixer here. And like you see on the box, just pour all this stuff in here together and mix it together. I got my eggs, got some water here, some oil. I know it's gonna be moist, it's got oil in it, right? I know that already. Okay. I'm gonna bring this together. Y'all, that should do it, right? I hope. Okay, let's get rid of this. Throw that right there. Now, we'll kind of mix that up there. All mixed together and get our, get our skillet here. And we're just going to pour this right on top of the pineapple, y'all. Like I say, y'all, we just going to see what happens here. I got a mess. Oh, I done created something good here. What y'all think? What y'all think? Leave comments what you think here. Just leave in the comments. You're going to know. You're going to cheat. Okay, y'all. I say 350 degrees oven for about 30, 35 minutes. So we're going to come back, y'all. <laughs> and we're going to see what concoction Chef Jeffrey done come out with. Old school pineapple upside down cake made with a box cake, y'all. Anyway, we'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back. This actually took 40 minutes to cook, y'all. 40 minutes. It's definitely done. So y'all know it's a thin line between taking it out too early and not taking it out on time. So I'm gonna let it sit about three minutes, y'all, in the skillet here. I got my pan, my pellet here to flip it on, and we're gonna prepare for the worst and hope for the best, right? So anyway, we'll be back once I flip this out, and we're gonna see what happens. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all. Here we go. What they say? Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing, huh? Ooh, that's still hot. Jeff Jeffrey. That's still hot. Shoot. <laughs> He's accident prone. Okay. Here goes, y'all. What are we going to do? I'm going to hold this with this hand and flip it with my other hand here. So here we go, y'all. Let's pray for the best. Half of the worst. Oh my goodness. Okay, some of it on the stick. Hey, it ain't no big deal. I'm just gonna put it right back in there like that, ain't we? Ain't we? Ain't no big deal, y'all. Put it in there just like that. Look at that there. Put that right on there. Even though it don't go there. And the one on the side right there. Hey, not bad, huh? Not bad. Look at that, y'all. Look at this. All in the cast iron skillet. <laughs> and with, uh, <laughs> and with, uh, store-bought box cake. Box cake Kenneth, you hope you're proud. Box cake Kenneth probably smiling right now. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. The old school upside down pound cake with the inside help. So, Anyway, I'm going to step off, cut a piece. We're going to pat back and see how it really tastes. Is it nice and moist? So we'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. Look at that. Nice cake there. Look at this here. Look at that. Pineapple upside down cake. Hey, made by Box Cake. DCK Box Cake Kenner style. 
box cake killing. Like I say, y'all, I ain't never made no box cake, upside down cake, and I never did one in this blackened skillet, what I call blackened skillet, cast down skillet. But sometimes you don't know if they season well. I know my season, I know my skillets are seasoned well where they don't stick, but with a cake, it's like a different procedure. So enough talking, y'all. Let's go in here. Let's go in here and see how moist this thing is now. Look at that there. Look at this here. Going in here. Mmm. Hmm. 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 Not bad, y'all. Hmm. Actually, it's pretty good. It ain't not bad. And I'm not a fan of cherries, y'all. I'm going to take them off. I love pineapples. Mmm. I got the little caramelized pineapple right there. All that brown sugar and butter. Mm. Let's try a little increase here. A little crust, look at that. That's a good part there. Look at that, like a brown sugar soaked in there with that, with that butter and pineapple juice going in. Oh mm, God. Yeah. This part right here. That's the part right there, y'all. That's where all the good stuff is right at the corner. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So anyway, like I say, y'all, ain't no really recipe for this. I'm going to put down what I put in it right off the box, but there's one more piece here. And not bad. And in a pinch, do I approve? Absolutely. Absolutely, y'all. So, hey. Like I said, this year I'm going to be taking it easy. I'm going to be doing a lot of homemade videos. Don't worry. I'm going to do a lot of shortcuts. And like I said, I found, uh, figured out, a lot of people ain't got time. And they got busy with life to do a lot of stuff from scratch. And I know a lot of shortcuts you can do. A lot of healthy items I can show y'all. And that's what I'm going to do this year. Hashtag come out next year. Next year. Next week, y'all. But we're still doing the 2023 hashtag, even though it's 2024. So anyway, if you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023. Just show some kindness. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food Day. And I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy, blessed weekend. Love y'all. Bye.